Hola chicos, uh, este screencast tiene que ver con Edmodo, the more advanced features. Um, this is going to be primarily in English because this is a screencast that talks about a website that I want you guys to know exactly how to use um, and it's for all my classes from Spanish 2 to Spanish 5. So what we're going to discuss today are some of the more advanced features, settings, your profile photo, some of you guys have it, many of you don't, your notification settings, um, how to get it on your phone if you have one, or how to get email notifications. Then I want to talk about the home page, some assignments, alerts, polls, posts, etc. Um, how you do that and what's on there. Um, then I want to get to communication. How do you communicate with me? How do you communicate with the class? How do you communicate with other students, etc. Which is um, a really valuable part of this website. And finally, the library, which um, is something we haven't talked about a lot, but really uh, is going to include more and more valuable information as we go on um, throughout the year. So let's take a look at uh, what we have here and see if I can open the site. Hold on one second. Bear with me. There it is. Okay, so what I'm showing you guys now is a student uh, who I created. His name is Timmy Tango, and he is a member of um, our Spanish 2A1 class, but no matter what class you're in, you're going to be able to see um, some of the same sort of features. So uh, he's just an example student. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is settings. So up here, if you go to account, you click that button, it's going to take you to these features here. If you click on settings, you're going to be able to change your photo, you're going to be able to um, to personalize this, which which is what I want you to do. I don't want you to have one of these. These are random, so I've, I know there's a couple people. One, one person has this little soccer guy, and one person has this. I don't remember who you are. But please just get a, a, a um, picture on your computer. You click the Choose File button, um, and I, you know, my, I don't have pictures here necessarily, but if I were to click on this and I wanted to use, um, let's say, Timmy Tango's a koala bear, we'll use that and you'll see that it will upload and now from now on Timmy Tango is a koala bear please don't choose a koala bear please choose a picture of you that would be better so that's how you put a photo everybody's got one on Facebook there's no reason not to have one on this site as well so please 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 put a photo in this is going to be part of your homework um, up here notification type under notifications remember we're still in the account the settings block under account and notification right now Timmy has none but Timmy has an email account and he wants to get email notifications of when I post something in the class. So we're going to click on this. This is a, a made up email. And then he gets to decide what he wants on there. So Timmy decides that he wants everything. He wants alerts if I alert you to something. He wants notes if people in class write notes or posts. He obviously wants assignments. He wants quizzes. He wants direct messages and he wants replies. I would, I would advise you to put all these down at first and then as you go along personalize it and decide which ones you want maybe you'll get annoyed by them so we're going to do this and we're going to click save notifications okay so there's the settings we now have a picture and we have the notifications set up okay so if we go back to the home page from where you guys are at the beginning let's talk about the profile let's personalize our profile page so if you click on profile you guys are going to see I love this koala bear you guys are going to see that um, there's a favorite quote option so you can search for a favorite quote I'm not gonna click this if you want to do that please feel free to go ahead select how you learn so this is kinda nice for me to know so Timmy like me is a hands-on learner so we're gonna click that and so he's a hands-on learner career goal you can't see this but below this here I wonder if I can scroll down I can so if you see this you can say that you know what are Timmy's career goals Timmy um, loves music so he's a music and arts guy um, and then it gives us all these sub options here and, and Timmy um, wants to be a musician so he's gonna click on that musician this is his career goal it's kinda neat to put it in there it gives me a little bit of um, inside information about who you are so that's how you personalize your your profile page let's go back to the home page which is the page that you guys always start with so here I want to talk about assignments and I want to talk about alerts and polls and notes etc you can see here on the right side that Timmy has one assignment due and he has one late assignment. Timmy did not do his homework. So he wants to concentrate on this late assignment first. He's going to click this and it will be the Kien So Yo screencast. So Timmy obviously to do the Kien So Yo screencast the first thing he needs to do is click on this and either watch this um, in the window below which will appear in a second or um, he could maximize it and watch it through there. So that's um, something that Timmy needs to do for some reason it's not coming up right now. Once Timmy does that, in order to show me that he did the homework, he's going to click the Turn In button. 
And this is what we were talking about the other day when we discussed the rubric. So his response is going to be a specific response. I'm not going to type it in. Um, in Spanish, which um, relates to the screencast. That's really important because you want to get a 5 on this. And he's going to hopefully get a 5 on his homework because he has, um, he has been specific about it. So that's how to turn things in. It's important that you understand that you press the turn in button. Okay, so there's one assignment. He's done this late assignment. Then he's got up here one assignment due. Same thing. He'll click on that. He'll watch this here, and he'll um, he'll take some notes, and he'll turn the assignment in. So Tim Griffin, Tim and Griffin decided to to reply to this. And when you reply to this, it it, it happens down here. I want this information in the turn it in button. So Tim and Griffin, it's okay. You guys um, got credit for the homework, but next time, uh, click the turn in button. Okay. So we go back to the home page. Um, and we see that you know we have these uh, assignments and we have a, our due assignment and a late assignment. You guys can also write posts as much as you want. You can say, you know, um, what was the homework for um, from Friday? Let's say you were out. I don't mind if you do this in English. I would like it in Spanish, but if you want to do it in homework in English because you need to get the information, that's fine. Now Timmy's in Spanish two class, so he is gonna ask everybody in Spanish 2 class not just me right ask somebody in Spanish 2 he's gonna click that and he's gonna click send and now everybody in Spanish 2 class is gonna see this is gonna see this information so they can let him know what it was now I don't care it doesn't bother me that you guys don't know what don't remember what the homework was I'd rather you put it in and ask oftentimes the homework is gonna be in here so this is gonna be a question that you don't really need to, an to answer or to ask too often Okay, so there you go. There's some information on um, sending notes and things. There will also be polls, uh, I think. Let me see if um, we had a poll down here. I thought I sent a poll to you guys earlier, but maybe I didn't. Um, but anyway, you guys can put all kinds of information in here. You can talk about whatever you want, just like on Facebook. Just keep it, obviously, school-related. Um, or keep it in Spanish, and it doesn't necessarily have to be school-related. Okay, one more thing and we're done. I want to talk about the library. So Timmy's going to click on his, the library feature here. And when he does that, he's going to see this. And this is kind of annoying. I don't really like the way that this is set up. It says add to backpack. Well, over here on the left-hand side, we have to click shared with me. And when you click that, this appears, the Spanish 2A1, which is Timmy's class. When he clicks on this, there's a folder. And then the folder says Spanish 2A1 stuff. That's a folder that I've created and shared with you guys. So Timmy now has all this information. Here's the Edmodo-based homework assignment. Here's the, one of the Kien Soyo uh, screencasts. Here's a screencast on grading and participation. And there's even screencasts that we haven't seen yet, like Mastery Expressions 2, 3, Telling Time, Ser en Estad. Feel free, if you want, to get ahead of the game a little bit, or if the stuff that we're doing seems easy, you can certainly go ahead. So that's the library. It's a little tricky. Um, one more time, when you go back, you're going to see this page. Click the Shared With Me, Spanish 2A1 stuff, and you can access it. Then you guys can create little folders in here in your own library if you want by clicking Folder, and then you can call it whatever you want. So this is yours to organize and keep neatly the way that you want to keep it. Okay, this screencast is about to go to 10 minutes, and I don't like it to go over 10 minutes. So if there's anything that you're confused about, feel free to look it over again. Um, but uh, Timmy Tango, our koala bear, now knows how to use the advanced features of Edmodo. Please comment on this screencast um, under the homework assignment, which we'll, I'll put up there very shortly. So please click Turn In and comment specifically. 10 minutes, oh my god. All right, thanks very much, and we'll see you guys in class next time. Gracias, chao, hasta luego.